Hello and welcome. I'm here with Sammy. We are officially launching our Moon Oral Stout One services as an LLC. Three years ago, Sammy wanted my husband and I to put up a website so that we she could have a vehicle to share her consciousness. And uh, she wanted to do podcasts, she wanted to do individual sessions. But in all honesty, at that time, I really wasn't ready. So we did put up the website. And uh, as many of you watching this probably know, we've been offering a lot of um, what I would say free material. But we are now ready to take this to the next level so that we can exchange for what we are offering and uh, provide all of you with more individualized um, services. So one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, group teleconference classes, um, maybe one day activations or uh, one hour activation sessions as more and more information is streaming in, there is now more to share with everyone. So we put up the website and I'm glad I didn't just dive into offering the full range of services that Sammy wanted to offer at that time. During these last three years, I've grown a lot and there is new access points now available to us and I can connect with Sammy at a whole other level that I wasn't able to do even three years ago. I'm also just comfortable with myself and comfortable with where I am in my own ascension, ascension process. And so we're taking the next step and um, going to be offering more through our website. I plan this video as a launch and I got so kind of mentally engrossed in how I should do it and what I should say that I forgot to really ask Sammy if she had anything that she wanted to share. So one night uh, I wake up and there's this beautiful Sammy in like this, like that egg shape that's on the cover uh, of this uh, video uh, and all this glowing light. And then I see this little golden envelope and this envelope comes in front of me and stops and it said a uh, message from Sammy. Um, I thought, you know, like you got mail. So it was a really um, interesting moment. And I went back to sleep uh, kind of um, not fully remembering what had just happened. And so later on that day, uh, I was inspired to now open the envelope. And when I did, it was a beautiful message from Sammy. And it was so profound. And I'd like to read that to you. We'll also post it on our website as a blog uh, as well. So please sit comfortably and be open to receiving this beautiful message from Sammy. So she says, dear human family, I laugh at myself when I use that phrase because for so long, I did not want to be here. I did not want to be human. Being human can be so painful. There is so much suffering here. So many horrific things have happened on the planet and continue to happen in areas that are so isolated. Pain inflicted on others by the very hands that promise to save them. Nurturing is an innate aspect of being human. That is the very fabric of your DNA. You were not created to inflict such suffering on others. However, even as this ascension cycle continues to move forward, there are those who misuse their gifts and are blind to their true nature. I don't have the same distaste for being human anymore. I say there are wondrous things and many beautiful people who are bringing the true human divinity here. Love and light, however, can be blind. Those on the ascension path who only strive for the light but cannot also integrate the darkest aspects are only working with one aspect of their divinity. 
I point this out because until you can really look deeply at all aspects, meaning the macrocosmic to the microcosmic levels, the subatomic quantum level, you are not seeing the full picture. Earth and humanity have been subjected to such dark forces that your very foundation of belief systems are intertwined with hatred, prejudices, and judgments. Until you can unravel all of this, humanity cannot move forward. This means that there has even been a quantum level of black magic grids at work that forms the foundation of many of your institutions. I know that it's hard to hear. My mom has personal experience with these black magic grids. There are even those posing as light workers and advanced star seeds who unknowingly are still engaging these black magic grids. The ascension path has become a monetary industry and many are fooled into following gurus who are leading people back to the same system with just a modern look and high-tech glitzes. It's a wonderful time, but a confusing time too. Three years ago, I wanted my mom and dad to put up a website to offer our work. Our sole agreement is to do this, provide humanity with new information and upgrade humanity. And recently, and certainly we are not the only ones doing this, this project takes millions to accomplish, and many thousands of people have been doing this for decades. This will be a long process to evolve the human into a grand omniversal being. But in the decades that many of you are focused on, it is a phase of releasing, forgetting even, and transcending all your foundations. It's important to get in touch with your inner spirit, as those of you drawn to our work already know, and really learn to discern. You discern by feeling it, feeling the words, the energetic consciousness coming from the person and the message. It's important at this time to feel whether the quote guru presenting his or her message has really connected with and worked through their third dimensional ego identity. The more glitz and sales pitches, the more likely that they have not. Also, if you find yourself reacting with extreme emotions, check in with yourself. Is this being stimulated by what I'm listening to or watching, or is it a program that exists in my body that needs to be dissolved? Sensationalism feeds anger and distracts the masses. Also, drugs and alcohol keep many asleep. In this harsh world of extremes, you've been fooled into thinking that drugs and alcohol will make it all okay. Take control if that fits for you. There is no judgment about it, but only you know. The human design is capable of perceiving a great deal. You identify the human body to have five senses, but what if I told you that there are actually 12 in the original blueprint? The original design has been tampered with and you've been taught to numb the ones you already have. Now let's go on to the topic of sensory systems. All of us considered to be on the autism spectrum have unique sensory systems and challenges based on your mode of understanding. We look broken to you because we can't fit into the current model of human functioning. But we're actually showing you how broken the human model is and how disconnected you are from the original human design. When source was, let us say, able to first emanate itself, creation was born. And an explosion of emanations was underway vectors and pathways opened and almost simultaneously this first emanation created 12 aspects of itself and in these 12 aspects different perceptions and awarenesses flourished these can be translated to mean languages 
Language is not as thought, but perception and feeling. We've been cut down to experience five, but there are tw actually 12 sensate intelligences. And as the full flower of life is activated on the planet, the human will evolve to express these 12 sensate traits. This 12 is what some of you refer to as the 12 galactic suns. And the consciousness of these suns is the council of 12. The 12 galactic suns are in some ways per precursors to the universes and galaxies. And I'd like to emphasize, you were not thrown out of Eden as sinners. This is trapdoor thinking and, and keeps you from embracing your divinity. Well, some anyway. The consciousness of the Council of Twelve is your soul lineage. Emanation streaming out but not disconnected. You are not a disconnected soul. Soul is closer to being an emanation rather than a separate entity floating through the universe. Your experience has been of a soul traversing this universe, but in the depth and web of the omniverse, you were never supposed to be disconnected. These original galactic suns are not of your universe, and the consciousness of the Council of Twelve is now deeply penetrating your universe. There are 36 of us autists on the planet from these galactic suns, three from each of the suns. We, from a linear time perspective, penetrated this universal time matrix from what you might consider to be your future. From our perspective, however, we entered through a back door. And when this happened, the simultaneous nature of this universal time matrix was altered. We are, we're a ripple in the dimensional web, you might say. We were and are not are a sort of backdoor connection to source. This enabled other beings in this universe and this galaxy to ascend and reconnect to the law of one. It is the human form, however, that can truly bridge the polarized forces that enables dense matter to manifest a certain type of embodiment. And this is the simplest definition of what the trinitized form is meant to be. We are the senses of these galactic suns and have recently implanted two dragon forces of the sapphire and ruby diamond energies. These powerful consciousness forces will enable low consciousness frequency nets to be dismantled. Please be aware that source is doing everything in its power to cause as little disruption as possible, but you must help by continuing to embody and become spirit in matter as a source avatar being. By surrendering to your true divine self, you are a God vessel. Many religions teach that you cannot be God, and yet they tell you to surrender to God. What do you think that means when you surrender? This last epoch of humanity has been one of extremes and very difficult. It's difficult to be in human form, as many of you know and why I did not want to be here at times. In the coming decades, you will be erasing and zeroing out platforms that have been the foundation of your reality. As I mentioned briefly, black magic grids have been underlying many of the core foundations of your economic, medical, governmental, educational, and general institutional structures of your reality at the subatomic quantum levels. This is why it has been so challenging to make adjustments to your laws, your election systems, medical systems, educational systems, etc. One of the biggest changes coming is to your educational model. You will be radically changing your education system to one where you will be learning to be fully human. Humanity does not know what it means to be the full human. As, hum as humanity evolves with 12 senses, you will begin to make the necessary adjustments to your educational system. You can already see how sensitive the kids being born are. 
they are not interested in the same system of being rewarded for memorized thoughts. More parents are choosing not to vaccinate and are opting for homeschooling. The key word for this phase is de-stress. Eliminate things and people that unnecessarily cause you stress. I share this information with you as part of this launching video my mom, my mom and dad are doing to let you know that through the avenue of the website that my mom and dad have created, we will be sharing new information from the Council of Twelve. My mom accesses other information and translates symbols to assist humanity. Since she is the more, quote, functional human here at this time, he, 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 from Sammy, she says, she'll be filtering what is needed and what people are ready to hear. It's an exciting time, people, but there's still more work to be done. Keep breathing and believing in yourself. But more importantly, please believe in us. All this cannot be possible if you do not believe in us. Sammy. One interesting thing that I want to note about Sammy's message is that when I had first translated it, I used the word uh, iteration, where she's talking about the Council of Twelve and um, the emanation of Source. I had put the word in iteration, and iteration implies there's a there's source, and then you make a copy, and then now from that they were able to kind of um, uh, for, form new pathways and trajectories to uh, for creation to unfold in. And the reason why she wanted me to change that word from iteration to emanation is that. Uh, iteration, there seems to be almost a disconnect of one form and another form. And when we talk about emanation, as she said, that soul is closer to being an emanation, there's this intrinsic understanding that everything is still connected as this uh, emanation. And that even as creation continues and unfolds, that uh, it's all connected in the, the omniversal streams of the all that is. And so that was an important distinction for her. The other point embedded in energetically in the message is about time. And lots of people are talking about time uh, and that there's no time, simultaneous time. But what I could feel from this message uh, is um, that si simultaneous time from the God world, the God creator source mind is that um, time is a, a tool, a manifestation tool, and it's a vector. So in mathematics, a vector is like a line that has a direction. And so we've been experiencing linear time uh, that goes from past, present, future. In simultaneous time, the concept is that as the human evolves, we will be able to work with time as vectors in 360 different degrees. Now, um, how that manifests and how that will be experienced through us uh, is not clear, but um, there is definitely this sense and feeling that simultaneous time is, uh, is about vectors and a manifestation tool to unfold creation. So, as we move forward now with Moon Oros dot one operating as um, a, a service through an LLC, and interesting, uh, some of you may know that I've worked closely with Marissa Leone, and so she had come up with LLC, is which stands for um, Limited Liability Company, but um, another way to look at it is. Um, for lifelong care. And so in a sense, this website, this service business service that we are moving forward with is a vehicle for Sammy to be able to exchange with the world. And in her receiving, it is for her 
let's say in all of us as a family uh, for lifelong care. And we also um, then played with that LLC abbreviation for also living light codes or loving light codes that this is a vehicle for us to serve humanity by bringing in those living light codes and loving light codes uh, so that she can and and hopefully other autists you know on the planet can um, have lifelong care since uh, they operate on a different dimensional plane but they are here to teach us a great deal so much of what we'll be offering through our website, through the private sessions, teleclasses, and um, special activation sessions. Uh, it is with that mission in mind that uh, Sammy is here to bring her messages as a messenger from the Council of Twelve uh, to humanity. If you go to our website now, you'll uh, be able to, on our front page, there's a, a button on top, on the, on the top menu, um, that will say book online or booking online. And when you click on that, you'll see private sessions. And if you click on that, it'll take you to um, private sessions and how to make the financial exchange, et cetera. Uh, and the other button on that page of booking online is uh, teleclasses. So I'll be offering one starting, it's two classes on October 19th and 26th for an hour, very much hands-on. It's about learning to energetically cleanse uh, your, your, your home, your um, crystals, uh, flower essences or essential oils, whatever, medications, whatever you want to, to clear, um, it can be done through your hands using the symbol that uh, uh, that we brought in called liquid choku ray. I know there is choku ray that the um, that is part of the Reiki symbol, uh, but we use are using something called liquid choku ray, which brings in the antiparticle fields. And that attunement will be put up on YouTube, and um, we're going to be asking you if you want to join in to. Uh, go through the attunement first and integrate and then when you come to the session the group class on the 19th and the 26th we'll really be doing hands-on uh, clearing and cleansing and you can bring your water you can bring crystals you can bring a necklace you can bring you know whatever you want uh, to to um, gain hands-on experience to do that that is the best way of learning how to become energy workers yourself. We've stepped into that realm of, of energy and everyone is an energy worker. And uh, I think, I feel that this is a way for more people to be able to become energy workers much faster. The other um, activation class we're gonna be doing uh, for about an hour, hour and a half is on the 1111 Stargate or 1118, which is, becomes an 11. So it's activate your Earth Star. You may have heard me mentioning um, that we have a new Earth Star coming into uh, manifestation, and it will be completed as we pass through the 1111 portal this year. And so we'll be, I'll be talking a little bit about that uh, on this special group teleconference and um, activating your unique Earth Star connection. So that's what we have to offer. And we hope to see you soon in any one of those, um, through any one of those vehicles. Thank you very much and see you soon.